Salutations, and welcome back. It's Paul Maglev here, and we are going to do the last two levels of the 7.3 patch to Train Valor! Which includes this weird level, which is kind of strange because you'd think that they'd be able to just use trucks to send stuff from here to here and here and here, but apparently they're going about it the long way. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna take those buildings down because I don't care. What else can I do? I'll build this, build this, there we go. I've met my objectives of not letting trains crash or go to the wrong city so far. But I still have to make 300k. And that's going to be difficult. Oh, that's too expensive to dig through. I don't want to destroy that cactus. There we go. Yay! Ah, oh, crap. No! No, I screwed up. I sent a train to the wrong city. But at least I didn't go bankrupt. That's really all that matters. However, I seem to be building up dead again. So I'll just have to send more trains out and pray that uh, everything just works out. And it did. Here, give him a head start, and I'll just make my way back to hold on a second. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I did some stuff over at my grandmother's house to help prepare for painting, and that was very exhausting. So I finally got the chance to come back, so uh, let's get back to where we were. I didn't know putting up tape against a ceiling would be so exhausting. We're trying to paint uh, the ceiling, and that requires putting plastic sheets all over the walls. And to top it all off, I was trying to open and uh, dismantle this grate, but only as much as I was told to, which meant to uh, leave two loose bolts on it so my dad could actually take care of it. But. Uh, one of the bolts wasn't even attached. So I was taking care of uh, the one single uh, screw that was holding the whole thing up. I loosened it up too much and then the whole thing came down on me. An entire uh, air ventilation... Uh, what do you call it? It's it's basically the air vent to the AC, uh, the air outtake for some reason is uh, placed in a very inconvenient place, and it's it's a real pain to have to deal with that, but I'm glad that it's over with and done. If there was anything I could possibly change, oh snap, I just realized I don't have anything to drink. I left my water bottle over in the uh, other car. Dread. Well, 
Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Hopefully that makes it across in time. It did. No, I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it like this. There we go. strange. My entire fleet has uh, gone under dieselization with a few exceptions. Let's see if we can turn this around. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting uh, really tired of having to uh, paint the house, but... Uh, I'm in a position where I feel obligated to continue working, uh, regardless of how I feel, because I just want to get it done with, and I don't want to, uh, just loaf around and do nothing. Like Congress. Speaking of which, they're going on a recess at around this time. Uh, what day were they going to take their, uh, summer hiatus. I, I don't remember. I should have paid more attention to the news. This little teal city's getting really popular at the moment. seeing modern era diesels by this point. Oh, I had the uh, tracks set up wrong. And it is 1930. Uh, the game has officially the level has officially ended. I would speed things up, but I physically cannot at the moment. And yeah, that's mission accomplished. Uh, however, I did not avoid the crashing of trains, and I did not avoid sending trains to the wrong stations. However, I did get another little stamp, which is nice. Now, that little icon, the triangular postal stamp, is for the sandbox mode, which I think I mentioned previously. And it's a really long campaign, 
that allows me to experiment with uh, various combinations of connections to see what works best so that I can play the other levels and see uh, what the high score can be that I can actually achieve. So let's see. Like this. Wait a minute, this sounds like a very bad idea. The track's not built! Oh, never mind. I had a panic attack for no reason whatsoever. But anyway, this is like the ultimate level because... <coughs> Excuse me. This is the ultimate level because it lasts the longest, it has the greatest number of stations, and... Um, what else is there? It does some other stuff, too. So let's see, the longest campaign, the... It's got the longest campaign, the largest map, well, at least accessible, uh, not just visually speaking, but um, topographically speaking in terms of where I can actually place tracks. So it's got the largest surface area for placing tracks. It's got the most stations, and uh, as a result of all that stuff, it's got the most awesome. Looks like I'm going to have to let this train wait. Will I send all the other trains out? For once there's some variety in here. It's getting very dull with only three. Uh, stations. However, it's gonna get overwhelming really fast at some point. I knew something was gonna come up at some point. Let's see, I will strategically place insufficient funds. Hmm, how am I gonna connect this? You know what, it might be easier to just change the path of these tracks. temporarily. And somehow I forgot about this train over here. Somehow I can predict, based on previous experience with this map, that I should be able to should be able to have multiple stations over in this area, so I'll have to shape the tracks like this in order to be prepared. Hmm, 
unfortunately I'll have to demolish that. And now I can clearly see a problem with this uh, setup, because I clearly can't take trains from here and send them straight to here. So, thinking, how am I gonna, how am I gonna fix this? Make some sort of a roundabout configuration. We'll go like this. Crap, that was a terrible idea. However, I can do this. So I guess it's a bit of an improvement. Hmm. I think I've finally come up with a strategy. To deal with this conundrum. Wait, wait, stop, stop! Crap. And it's moments like this that I always suspect that I have an IQ lower than 70. Hmm. So it does randomly generate. That's fascinating. Tracks are here? No, I cannot. That is a large physical obstacle I cannot access. No, I'm not gonna build that. I'm just gonna. Oh, shoot. Sorry, house. Too bad I can't build tracks in such a way that a uh, switch points can branch off into three different directions. That would be really nice. Actually, I think it would be more than nice. by the time this train gets to here, this train would have already made it to its station. And I was correct in that uh, approximation. No, I didn't mean to press that. I meant to press the switch. Let's see, wait for it, and go. I wish I could change the speed of each locomotive uh, to something that's within the scope of my uh, understanding, because at the moment... Oh, looks like I... Oh, it locked again. Dang it. On 
the bright side, I should be able to uh, manage this kind of a layout much better than uh, beforehand uh, with the previous layouts, which was a total nightmare. I still feel like I can take the routes bend it around here. I will have to do that eventually at some points anyway. I'll just get this train out first to see if it gets ready in time. And it did. Wait for it. And go. Got some faster trains now which is good. It's always nice to have faster trains. Please get me to, the, to my destination faster. More efficiently and with extra cash in my pocket. Nope. There we go. I feel like that went in the wrong direction. Yes, it did. Let's see, I'll set this train out, and I can finally get this train out of its station. Good. Well, I have to take that tree stump though. Dread, I sent it the wrong way again. Yeah, I'll just stop this train for a moment. Send it on its merry way. Oh. I'm, I screwed up again. Let's send this train.
train out. To its destination, this train is going to go this way. This train's going this way. There we go. And everything was eloquently put into place. brain fart on that one. And I derailed another train because I forgot to fix the tracks. again. I really should have sent these trains in an alternate orientation. Still need to find a way to find, and, I'm sorry, build more direct routes to places. Because the map at the moment is a real logistical nightmare. Just fine. Wait a minute, I'm sending this the wrong way. Let's see, first we'll send this train back. Send it back out again through this convoluting route. There we go. Let's see here. I'll just stop the 
this train here, because I have to. Well, that was a close call. These trains are playing whack-a-mole over here. Faster. Let's see, I need to rearrange it so it goes like this into there. And I need to turn this train around because things are going really fast now. Send it that way, but okay. Well, I really have substantially less control. Because these trains are so long, I can't control them until they pull, fully pull out of their stations. Let's see, wind it around like this. That should do it. Let's see, wind it over here. Get it this way. Wow, these trains are getting really long. Oh, the other train registered! Yay! How many times have I crashed in this round? I swear it's too many times to even count. Okay, that'll do. Oh, I missed. Let's see. Is this going the right way? Yes, it is. Send it into here. Well, that made my life. 
life's that much more complicated. Controlling all this stuff is crazy. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to deconstruct that! And somehow that didn't blow it up into little pieces. There we go. And I have officially lost all common sense. Sending trains out in places they were never meant to go. Folks, that's Train Valley 7.3.1, I think. And so, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to show you for this patch. I think I've spent enough time on this episode, uh, suffice it to say. So, I'll see you guys next time, and until then, take it easy. Thank you.